So I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to clean concrete buildings, how to clean stucco. Um, if this is really getting into it with stucco and stuff like that. The reason why I wanna talk about this is because this can make you not happy later on. And so I wanna show you why we just really want to soft wash this stuff and especially painted surfaces now the concrete in this is one thing but this painted surfaces so what i want to show you is is um, what happens when we use high pressure so here you can see i hope you can see the high pressure here this here was high pressure you can see the turbo nozzle the whole nine yards there this is the dead organic on here. You can kind of see it's kind of got it like a brown thing. This is whiter. Yes, it is cleaner. But do you, the problem with doing high pressure like that is, is it's going to take you a long time to do this whole big building here by doing that. So when we are doing demos, all we want to do is to soft wash it. Spray the bleach on and rinse it off. We don't really want to go real strong because when we go real strong then that's going to give us another issue and the issue of it is is we'd have to power wash this whole building and then instead of taking a day to do this building or maybe two days it's going to take us a week to use high pressure because we're going to have to get up on it with a lift and go all the way around here and i want to show you something here we have a whole lot of crap around this building and we're going to have to try to get around by doing it with a lift and so this is why we want to make sure that we do not do this and i'll show you the rest of this building looks good you'll see the before and after pictures of this building and it looks good everywhere except where they did the demo with high pressure and when we did that you're going to screw up things and i'll even walk around this other side of the building here where they are um where it has been high pressured and that is the problem um and, and where if you don't want to use high pressure because then you're not going to be able to get it even unless you take that high pressure nozzle and blast the hell living hell out of it and that's the only way you can do that see right here the wall um, was high pressured and this one is not and once it dries and it looks fine and you don't have to worry about it mm -hmm. 